Okay, so the other one, season one, episode two, <laughs> the birthday dinner. So um, they've decided to give Marilyn and Kat the boat. They didn't need. They didn't need it. Um, and of course, uh, Tess, she really just didn't want it uh, cluttering up the uh, the driveway. So they decided to give it to Marilyn and Kat. But while Kat was supposed to be helping them back this thing in, she's posing for the gram or whatever. Her mom's taking pictures of her. And they backed up too far and they broke the window. How far away from the wall? Kat, can you tell me when to stop, please? <laughs> so while Marcus is trying to arrange for a repairman to come to fix the window, Kathy and Kat are up in Kat's bedroom. And they're kind of talking about their birthdays. Now, FYI, they, they were born five days apart. So, um, Kathy is the oldest. Kathy is Tessa's daughter. So she's the oldest by five days. Um, and they're, you know, she's asking her like, so what are you going to do for your birthday? And, you know, she was saying how she's going to keep it low key and, you know, da, 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 da. And then she saw this kind of stuffed animal, like a squirrel, where you can record a message. You know, you can give it as a gift and you can record a message. And it was something that, uh, her, their father had given to Kat. And I think Kathy said she had one at one point, but she threw most of her stuffed animals away. Oh. I got you one of these too. Does it still work? Does it still work? And so, while she's upstairs talking, Tess and Marcus is in the car, and she's now, uh, Tess is now asking Marcus to download all these dating apps onto her phone. So he's looking at her, he's like, you want all of these? She was like, well, you know what? I missed the first sexual revolution. I'm not going to miss the second. So, um, eventually Tess has to come in to use the bathroom, and, uh, um, she, for whatever reason, asked her daughter, uh, Kathy, to ask Marilyn if it's okay if she comes in. So, of course, Marilyn was like, well, hell, we shared, shared a man for 30 years. I mean, what's the big deal about us sharing the toilet? So she came in to use the bathroom. Ask if I can use the lavatory. You can ask me yourself, love. We shared a man for 30 years. I think our bums can share a loose seat. And during this conversation, uh, Kat, Kathy revealed that Colin, her father didn't have a wheel, and so they're trying to get this all situated with his estate and all this other stuff is going on. So, um, they eventually leave, and then we find out that Tess has gotten involved with this Nordic walking class, and it looks as stupid as it sounds, right? And so she ends up meeting the voice, uh, Christopher. It's a guy named Christopher who used to be uh, Kathy's geography teacher, so he's like running this class. This outside there walking with ski poles with no ski. It, it looks a full mess. And the reason I call him the voice is because he's, his voice is so freaking annoying. But they're flirting with each other. And um, you're trying to maybe, you know, you kind of get the feel that something may come of it. I didn't recognize you at all. Well, I went on a bit of a health kick when I retired. Lost a third of my body weight. So, um, uh, Marcus, uh, is planning a birthday dinner for Kathy, and it was supposed to it, it was supposed to just be Kathy and Marcus, but of course after she told her mother, her mother guilted her, and she ended up inviting her mother. You don't want to do anything with your mother, but look, I, I, I'm sure we could make it a table for three. That would mean a lot. He had to go over to Marilyn and Kathy's house to get this water bottle. While he was there, they basically invited themselves to this birthday party. So, me and my mom have discussed that and we've agreed that we're going to come to your meal. And basically he told him that he was going to pay for it because it was Kat's birthday, Kathy's, uh, Kat's birthday too. Also, you will be paying for the meal, right? Because otherwise I won't be able to come to my birthday dinner. So, he's now, okay, wait a minute. So now, Tess is coming and now Marilyn and a cat has just invited themselves. So once he tells uh, um, uh, Kathy, she was like, oh God, what, what are we going to do? So now they're trying to get either Kathy's mother to not come or they're trying to get Marilyn and Kat to not come. And that just wasn't going to work. So when she went to talk to her mom, her mom was basically like, they stole my husband. They're not going to steal my daughter's birthday and no, I'm going to be there. And then she's like in the middle of her Nordic walking class. And then she does this stupid jaunt away from the car. I mean, it looks so crazy. So, we get to the party, right? So we get to the restaurant. Marilyn and Kathy, uh, Marilyn and Kat is already there. 
Um, Marcus and Kathy show up and they realize that Marilyn and Kathy, Marilyn and Kat changed the table. So, but you know, they didn't make a big deal out of it. They sat down, they said their highs. Kathy, a uh, cat ended up giving Kathy a gift mm -hmm. and she didn't have a chance to open it just as she was about to open it. Her mom came in with Christopher, the voice. And again, his voice is so freaking annoying. Well, I treated myself to follicular plugs as a retirement prezzy. So, um, they're uh, sitting and talking and, um, he introduces himself. He ends up having to introduce himself to Marilyn and Kat. Uh, and Kat, and he basically says, "How do you know each other?" So leave it to Kat to say, "Oh well, me and Kathy are sisters, and my mom and her dad had a love affair for thirty years." Uh, you know, just telling all the business. So oh well, Kathy is my sister, and my mom over here was Tessa's husband's mistress for thirty odd years. So eventually, Marilyn excuses herself and goes to the bathroom. Marcus takes Kathy outside. Um, because he wants to kind of like start over. So he gets, I guess he re-proposes to her and he basically is his way of asking for her for, uh, forgiveness. The issues that they were having was because he sent eggplant pics to one of his coworkers. And so he just wants to start fresh. Now, Melanie's is in the bathroom, but she went to the bathroom to have a smoke. So she's standing up, you know, by the window. And so she can hear this conversation. Sending Meredith those self portraits of my manhood. So, she tells Kat, and of course they decide to run his pocket. So they order this expensive bottle of wine and, you know, they're doing the most. Then, here we go, they get into it. So Kat, <laughs> Marilyn and uh, Tess get into it. And Marilyn, uh, Marilyn talks about how Kat, uh, Colin was the love of, his, of her life. And um, basically Tess said that uh, um, he, basically he used you. He used you for um, entertainment and that it wasn't real. And she basically thinks that uh, Marilyn is crazy. I think Marilyn's crazy too. But <laughs> uh, she just basically said that he loved us more. She was basically on her uh, on her DJ Khaled like, we the best. This is Tass talking about, well, if he loved you so much, then why did he come home to us every night? He spent six nights a week with us, but he only spent... Uh, one night a, a week with you, which is technically isn't true because we still don't know what he was doing on Thursdays, right? So, but she basically said that he loved us more because he spent more time with us. If he loved you so much, then why did he always come back to us? Hmm? I'll tell you why, because you were his hobby. So Kathy, so Kathy basically said enough. She basically said that this is supposed to be a celebration of our birthdays. And, um, when they, um, just as they was, she was about to continue her her, her her statement, that's when the birthday singing started. And this big cake comes out, and it was all happy birthday. It was, a, you know, a big thing. And she's all sitting there like, Marcus, I told you I didn't want you to make a big deal out of it. And he didn't. He didn't. It wasn't her cake. It was Kat's, it was Kat's cake. Right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and so after all that was said and done, that's when Kathy's, I guess little cupcake came on around the corner and it had the one guy um, holding it, you know, holding the cupcake and, you know, trying to keep the candle from going out. And they're singing, they're kind of singing like this half-heartedly, this birth, happy birthday to her. And, right, so that's, that, that was pretty much her birthday. <laughs> so, um, the next morning she finally opens a gift that Kat, uh, Kat gave her and it was the bear, the squirrel where you can record, um, uh, message and during the conversation she did say that sometimes she calls her dad's um, phone just so she can hear the voicemail so she can hear his hear his voice and so she basically recorded the, the recording on the the squirrel so that she would have it I guess for posterity so she, if she, anytime she wants to hear his voice she could just um, play it hello you've reached the voicemail of Colin Walcott okay. So she decided to do something nice and she decided to make eggy bread, which is something that the father made for both of them on their birthdays. And so she went over to Kat's house early, the wee hours <laughs> in the morning. And Kat was like, oh my God, that's so sweet. I'll call you, I, you know, I'll let you know when I get up. So uh, come to make you birthday eggy bread. Oh my God, Kathy, amazing. Take you when I'm up, yeah? Kat has closed the window and decided she's gonna go back on and lay down and sleep for a few more, whatever. And then she would let, uh, eventually I guess she would let her in, in the house, I guess.